Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and I am here with my fantastic beast and the crimes of Grindelwald. Woo! Let me give a brief overview of this movie, then we'll get into the characters, and then we'll get into my final thoughts first. This picks up a few months later from the first movie. Newt Scamander is being brought into the Ministry of Magic to track down Credence and kill him. Newt is not about that life. Newt does not choose a side. He is Switzerland, baby. Tells his brother Theseus, no, I will not make that decision ever and then things happen you find out that newt scamander is technically working with albus dumbledore played by jude law i absolutely loved his portrayal as albus dumbledore i think it's a great way to show a young dumbledore i really do i really do. all the returning characters come back jacob queenie uh tina jacob queenie tina credence and then we get some added new people to this we get theseus which was just mentioned in the original fantastic beast movie and we get zoe kravitz coming in as lita lestrange i i really dig this i love that they're expanding the universe like i said in my review for fantastic beasts and where to find them i love the world building the movies are okay but the world building is what i like and is where i'm at with all of this and things happen th things happen things happen in this movie that make grindelwald just the top tier bad guy they kill a baby hey a vada cadaver a baby they just they just do it man just like ah, you know and it's fucking crazy i really love that queenie gets turned to the dark side breaks jacob's heart johnny depp is the standout of this role he is not playing a normal crazy johnny depp boogity woogie character he's playing a calculated evil character i would almost most tag him up to the hitler of the wizarding world it, it, it's really just a great great thing we get the beasts as always but i do feel they are kind of just hey when we need them we need them when we don't need them we don't need them uh thicket and the um niffler come back they're my two favorite characters which obviously they're meant to be i just love a character that loves stealing shit it's funny to me even when i played D, &D that was one of my favorite characters to play just somebody who constantly stole shit and thicket thicket is kind of cool i just love the little stick creature i would want one i really would he would be my bestie friend he would be my second bestie friend because my little girl Kyrie, she is my bestest friend uh getting into characters they're all pretty much playing the same roles in this yeah they're just playing the same roles again tina's character uh played by katherine watterson i gave a shit less about her she was even more annoying than the first movie i just i she's just not winning me over she's just not winning me over pretty much as Mar ezra miller played in uh credence is just a bore up until the very end where he's teased to be dumbledore's brother and he gets a moment where you're like oh my goodness he could be something we'll see how uh i do believe lita lestrange was great her love triangle between theseus and newt was perfect for the role i absolutely loved it i absolutely did now for my overall thoughts on this movie it's not any better it's only a slightly bit better because now we're getting johnny depp playing this ca character that you don't really see him very often of playing this character a more methodical 
type character. You believe he believes what he believes, and I truly do love that aspect of it. Tina completely sucked. I really wish they would have just get rid of her character. Uh, Lita Lestrange was perfect. New, again, I love Eddie Redmayne, but he has that Eddie Redmayne character. He's like that. Doesn't doesn't look at people in the eyes and uh, just gotta just gotta uh, you know. You, you, I, I like you, but uh, you know, you can stare at you. And I hate that type of I hate that type of acting so fucking much. I really do. But I mean, it's just overall, it's pretty good. I'm not um, Newt's brother Theseus. Love it or leave it, he's all right. He's like he's not nothing too good but Jude Law man him and Johnny Depp just playing these two roles were perfect that's what this movie is about that's what these movies should have been about just those two characters that's it that's 100% it the greatest wizard of all time Albus Dumbledore versus the most evil wizard of all time Grindelwald oh man is this amazing? Where does this movie lie on our five star review? Three and a half stars. Just because of the bump for Johnny Depp, getting to be Johnny Depp, letting the wings fly. I love him. I do love him. No matter what happens in his case, I'm still going to love him. And the world is going to be, the acting world is going to be less because whoever loses in this their careers are done pretty much pretty much so we'll see how it goes guys if you guys could watch one of these videos over here and thank you for supporting our channel it means a lot to me and i will see you in our next review